Hello and welcome to TV Box Stop. My name is Nick and welcome to today's review of a brand new projector from the developers of Artly. This is the Artly Energon 2 and it's a 1080p projector featuring 300 inches of high quality display, Wi-Fi connectivity, Bluetooth, Miracast and AirPlay. This projector is not only attractive but it gives you the option to connect your home entertainment sound system wirelessly to give you a true cinematic sound. So in this video, we take a look at these features and we'll see if the Artly Energon 2 performs as well as it looks. So stay tuned, that's up next. So I'm back and this is the box that it comes in. There are no hardware specs printed anywhere on the box, so I will place it on the screen and proceed with the unboxing. The Energon 2 has a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. It has a brightness of 7000 lux. It has a contrast ratio of 7000 to 1. It has a projection size of 44 to 300 inches. It has a distance viewing range from 5 to 30 feet. The recommended optimal viewing distance is 70 inches at 7.8 feet. It has manual vertical keystone correction of plus or minus 15 degrees. It has an LED lifetime of 55,000 hours. It features a Bluetooth connection that can connect to Bluetooth headphones, Bluetooth speakers and soundbars. It has wireless streaming or casting for mobile devices such as iPhones, Android mobile devices, Windows 10 mobile devices, MacBooks and tablets. It can handle media via HDMI, VGA, AV connection, media stored on SD cards and for media stored on USB external drives. So in the box, you get the Energon 2 projector itself. You get a remote control. You get a high quality HDMI cable. A 3.5mm AV jack to RCA composite cable. One AC power cable. A user's manual written in English, Dutch, French, Italian, Spanish and Chinese. And to store the projector when it's not in use, it comes with a handy carrying case. Let's look at its design and ports. The body is made of plastic with a gunmetal finish with the lens and the lens cover and an IR receiver to the front. On the right side, you have the exhaust vent. To the rear of the projector, you have a VGA port, two HDMI ports, two USB ports, one of which is a 5 volts charging port, you have an AV port, a headphone jack, a micro SD card slot, a rear IR receiver, a power button, the inlet for the AC power cable, a vertical keystone correction wheel, and a detachable cover to view the internal cooling fan. On the left side of the projector, you have the intake vent covered by a detachable dust cover and filter. On the top of the projector, you have touch button controls and a very firm but smooth focus wheel adjustment. Below the projector, you have four anti-skid rubber feet screw holes for mounting the projector upside down on your ceiling and a press button pop-up kickstand. I will now set this up on a projector stand and a projector screen and continue. So here I have the Energon 2 set up on a projector stand connected to the Nvidia Shield TV box and to display its true picture quality I'm using a pull down projector screen. So I'll now start the projector and take a look at the interface. So when you start the projector for the first time, you will see the Artly logo splash screen and then you'll be asked to select your language. And these are the available languages. Once you select your desired language, you'll be taken to the main menu. So here we are at the main menu and it's divided into six sections. The first section is the media section. This section is where you access media stored on flash drives and external hard drives connected to the USB port. Please note that you can only read data from the second USB port 
as the first USB port labeled 5 volts can only be used for powering devices such as Android TV 6. The next major section is the source option where you can select the various source inputs of the projector such as HDMI 1 and 2, the VGA port or the AV port. Below that you have the Miracast feature. Here you can cast your Android mobile device directly to the projector in SD and HD quality with audio. Likewise, the other two sections pertain to casting from mobile devices such as iPhones and iPads and you also have the option to cast mobile devices that use DLNA technology. The last option is the settings area. The settings area is broken down into five sections. The first section is the network section. Here you can perform a scan and connect to your Wi-Fi network and you also have the option to connect to a static IP address if that's how your network is configured. The next section is the Bluetooth section. Here you can switch the Bluetooth feature on or off, which allows you to connect to Bluetooth devices such as Bluetooth headphones, Bluetooth speakers, soundbars, and my favorite option, audio receivers that feature Bluetooth connectivity. The next section is the projection mode. Here it gives you the option to change the orientation of the display to suit where it is positioned. Each option requires the projector to be restarted to activate the mode. The following section is the advanced section. Here you can change the language, the default boot source, the sleep timer, the Miracast display mode. You have options to update the firmware via local update or via online update. And the last options under this section is the reset to factory default settings. The final section is the system information. And here you can see that you can connect a 2TB external hard drive. And that's it for the settings area and I will now fine tune the display settings and connect my receiver via Bluetooth and play some video samples to give you a proper demonstration.
only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico. But the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points. The mosaic of the Camp Nou and the Barcelona hymn being sung as referee Mateo Loff prizing presence on the bench as well. Atletico playing in yellow, Barca in uh, their traditional red and blue, Barca. Alves in a bit of space, Adriano, Adriano shoots, it's a typical Adriano shot, unable to... So the picture quality is really good and you don't have to rely on the internal speaker to enjoy cinematic audio. This is how the projector songs with the internal speaker. So in summary, I really like the option to connect your audio device via Bluetooth. However, one thing to note is that the audio that's being transferred via Bluetooth, it's not a digital audio, meaning that you cannot get formats such as Dolby and DTS audio via this method. What you get is basic stereo, and this is still better than listening to the internal speaker. I also like that you can cast your mobile devices and that they have provided all of the available casting technologies to connect with Android and iOS devices. The design of the projector is quite attractive. The fan noise is moderate and you don't really hear it while playing videos. The picture quality is clean and vivid with sharp edges and the focus wheel is very sturdy and don't get thrown out of focus easily. And with that said, I recommend the Artly Energon 2 as one of the best projectors you can buy for your home entertainment system. And if you believe that the Energon 2 is right for you, then see the link in the description below this video where you can get it at the lowest price possible online. Give this video the thumbs up if you believe that Artly did a great job on this projector and if you would like to see more features from them, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you are a first time viewer to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button and the notifications bell before leaving as this will allow you to be notified via email when I release a new video or do a giveaway. Thanks for watching and I will be seeing you in the next one.